hello guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to work on this problem Java substring comparisons so in the previous videos I have already compared the substrings and uh, in this challenge I'm going to use the very same logic here so before going to uh, to the problem uh, if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and watch this video till the end you will maybe uh, get to know one more solution to solve this problem and let's jump to the solution so problem is really simple so it says that uh, it is it first explain us about lexicographical order like what it is and how should we identify and how should we do it then it explains about stub substring because this is uh, the strings introduction in HackerRank so that's what it is okay so here we have to complete this already created function and uh, we will be given a string and the length of the substrings to find so here they have taken an example right so this is how we have to first create the substrings and then we have to order them so let's say if we have welcome to java so we have to use length 3 as substring so we'll start from index 0 so it will be w e l then it will start from index 1 it will be elc then lcu and so on and you will find all these substrings here and they have to be ordered in a sense that you have to print the smallest one and the largest one so here if you see they have already created a function with two variables to print out so here what we have to do is first we have to find out the um, what you can say the substrings of length k here if you see we cannot import anything else so if you are thinking about sorted set or uh, maybe list you have to think of another solution because it's not enabled so you cannot do that so you have to think of uh, in a in a way that while you are getting the substring or while you are uh, like finding out each and every uh, substring you have to see if it is the lowest one or if it it is the um, largest one smallest or largest so here uh, what I will do is I will just initialize it with the first substring so first substring is going to be from 0 to k and here also I'll do the same thing now now I have something to compare with so I'll just iterate over my entire string to get all the substrings right so I'll start from 0 you can start from k also because you obviously uh, it's not 0 you can start from 1 also because you have already got got in the first substring right so you can do that also and it will be more efficient and then we have to do as dot length and then i plus plus okay now what we need to do is we need to find the substring right so substring is going to be what what it is going to be is i plus k right so if i were to find the substring dynamically i would do this i comma i plus k what I mean by this is the first uh, substring is going to be 0 comma 3 if k is 3 then the second substring is going to be 1 comma 4 that means three characters each that we have to find out right but we have to first check if i plus k is exceeding a length or not we cannot do that because it will uh, result in an exception so we'll check for that first if i plus k less than equals to s dot length then only calculate the substring so we'll do s dot substring and we'll do i comma i plus k that's it so when we have found out the substring we have to compare it with the smallest and the largest so if sub dot compare to 
with smallest so if this sub is the smallest one it should be less than 0 if it is greater than largest then it should be greater than 1 so sub dot compare to and then here I'll do largest and it will be greater than 0 so in this case I am I have to uh, I don't have to print I'll be, I'll do smallest equals to sub and here I'll do largest equals to sub so let's see if it is running fine or not so I have some compilation error because I forgot parenthesis here okay so it's working fine let's try to submit so it's working fine as expected so just to summarize first we iterated over our entire string then we checked if i plus k is exceeding our length or not because it should not if it is not exceeding then we are getting a substring by doing i comma i plus k and then we are comparing it with smallest and the largest so that we can get the smallest one and the largest one and that's it so that is all for this video let's meet in the next one and thank you guys for watching have a good